Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you my swashplate design for this helicopter. I am sure that by now you've probably seen videos on helicopter swashplates and whatnot. On this design, I've decided to make it as compact as possible using motor lock. So once I press the play button, you know, you'll now see I've merged two motors into one one block space. I've already made a video on that, so I've decided to implement it into the swashplate design. Because the motors are within one block, it only rotates from a certain point, so I don't have to worry about one motor being on the outside causing this weird offset from the rotation. Other than that, there's really nothing new in the swashplate design. All this has done is to make it as compact as possible, and it takes up less space like those other helicopter swashplates that you usually see. Because if you've seen any other swashplate video, it's probably much larger than this. The only problem with this helicopter is that it cannot move up and down vertically. I've tried doing so with pistons, but the strength of the ball wheels hitting on this rim does not really allow that to happen. The helicopter is also kind of hard to control once you stop the speed. It keeps on going down. As I've said before, it cannot go up and down, so I can't really control the height without boosting. I am also working on a different swashplate design, and it uses the propellers to keep these half wet down wedges in contact with the rim at all times. Unlike the previous swashplate, this one is capable of pitch, so once I toggle E, it's able to move up or down. Of course, this is just a concept, and I'm not really sure if this would work if I were to actually make a helicopter out of this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I haven't been posting as much recently, and that's because of school. And that's just because it's closer to Thanksgiving break, and they tend to, like, load a ton of homework before that day arrives. As I am done uploading this video, I will be constantly working on the swashplate design and trying to come up with a better one and hopefully post it on my YouTube channel. Anyways, I hope you have a good Thanksgiving break, and I'll see you guys next time.